I do have students annotate the syllabus and especially as Heather and Jacqueline were talking about in this kind of post ish pandemic world and in so what you know so many students uh, being shunted into online learning unwillingly and I'm a I, an online educator. I love teaching online, especially asynchronously online pre pandemic. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it anymore, but um, uh, students don't really know how to be students in in the college setting. A lot of times high school, especially public high schools don't provide syllabi for their students, so they don't know how to read it. And that document can be pretty daunting, especially as institutions require us to put more and more policies and resources and statements in our syllabi, all of which are very, very good and necessary, but uh, students will just skim over it and, you know, maybe get to looking at what do I have to do for tomorrow's class. So annotating the syllabus is a great way for students to um, share some of what they're worried about or curious about uh, in the course. And one of the most powerful things that I did kind of by mistake was that I asked students to identify one of the five uh, learning objectives or goals for the course that felt meaningful for them and to talk a little bit about why and what, what they hoped uh, they would achieve and accomplish. And then um, at the end of the semester, I had them go back to those annotations and revisit the uh, questions that they had. And, uh, you know, it was a little bit scary for me because I wasn't sure what would happen. You know, they might say, oh, I still have those questions or no, this goal was never met. But it was really exciting to see the self-reflection and the ownership that they took um, just through annotating the syllabus. 